the basis of calculus of what we're going to be looking at over the next day or two is a pure understanding of this limit, which we're going to derive tomorrow, inshallah. Okay? And you will notice the reason being limits are useful when you need to get close to something, but you may not necessarily be able to touch it. Right? So you just want to get close enough. Are you guys with me? Okay. Okay. Right. So now I'm going to give you a function. And I'm going to look at basic limit notation. Right. And I also want you to notice something. When I draw my axes, do you notice the books or the they sometimes put arrows on? Both sides. Right? Now these are continuous anyway. The reason I only put the arrows here is to indicate where the positive um, direction is. Okay, so let's look at this function. I give you a function like that, right? And I give you that thing there. Now I'm going to indicate a particular value on the x axis, as you can see. Oh, mama. Let's just, let's just draw a straight line down because it's a bit awkward. I'm going to call that value 2 and I'm going to give you a value over here and I'm going to say that value is say 6 and this value over here is 9. The values 6 and 9 correspond to values on which axis, people? On the y, on the y axis. And 2 corresponds to what? Value on the x axis. Right. So now if we look specifically, I'm going to name this function. I've given this function a name of f. Right. And now I'm going to ask you, people, I need you to evaluate what we call the limit as x approaches 2 from the positive side, right, of f, of x. Now, what in the world does this mean? I'm actually asking you, so I'm essentially asking you to evaluate the limit of the function. And when we talk about a functional value, we talk about what? We talk about what value? The y or the x? The x. No, we talk about the y. Because oh. remember with a function you input x and you get out y. y. So f of x corresponds to what value? Y. The y value. When we talk about f of x, we're talking about the y, y value. When I talk about the functional value, I'm talking about the y, y value. Okay. Now what I'm really looking for here is, guys, I'm asking you, what is the value of the function, or what does that function's value tend towards? Another word for tending towards is what value does it? Uh, we started the section with the definition, the first word you're... Approach! What value does it? Approach. What value does it tend towards? And I'm saying, what value does the function tend towards? So we're asking, what? What, what? Nine. What y value are you getting close to? Not x, but what? Y. y value are you getting close to? So how do we do this? So people, you take your fingers like this, right? And you run on the graph. Now, I'm going to run here. So my fingers are going to run across. And there you can see, like your fingers doing the walking through the yellow pages. Run, 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 run. And you get close to what? Right. The y value gets close to 9. nine. Okay, you run on this side. Do, 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 run, 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 run. And the y value gets close to 6. six. Now, we talk about a limit as x approaches something. So to properly say what I meant over there is what value do we get close to on the function? On the function. In other words, what y value do you get close to when you run towards a specific x value. And what's the x value I'm running towards here? 2. two. two. Tell everybody. 2. two. We are running towards 2. So I'm asking you, as I approach 2, what do I get close to? 9. Right? And if I run on this side, from the left hand side? 6. I approach 6. So we write this as follows. 
the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to 9. And the corresponding one is the limit as x approaches 2 minus, right, of f of x is equal to 6. What is this? What is this minus and this plus represent? Coming from the left and coming from the right. So as we approach 2 coming from the right, that's when I'm approaching 2 from the positive side, which is represented with this plus, and here as I approach 2 coming from the minus side. Okay, are we good? That's your first basic introduction to limits.